Hello everyone, my name is Flair Bliss here and welcome to the No Save Run on Extra Mode in the Witcher's House MV. But before I show you the full playthrough of the game on how I managed to complete this triumphant difficulty, I'm going to show you the, uh, the, the entry diary that I did not manage to get in my original recordings of the game, along with all of the failings that I did when trying to get to the stage that I did. So without further ado folks, enjoy the video and comment down below of what you thought of the remake of The Witch's House. Personally, I think this is a great remake. And I'm sure you guys as well who have played it for yourselves also agree that this has been worth both the money and the time for it. So here we go. Okay. So before we interact with this sobbing woman, we want to look into the crack, because it's the only piece that I have not gotten yet. The story of a sick girl. Read. Blank made him a request. I want a human friend. In his black cat form, he assented. However, Blank didn't see it. She didn't see the hideously evil smile that crept up on his face. The following pages are all torn up. So the hideous phase must have been from the demon itself. Talk. And the XXS must have been Ellen. Another one of those moments where you can die quite easily. Um, the game just froze. The game literally just froze. That is so BS! Game! Fumi! The publishers, please! This is so annoying! This has happened lots of times now. The game just randomly freezes for no reason. I'll be right back. Okay, this is another difficult part, I believe. And that is transversing through the poisonous water without getting yourself killed. Really careful. Stick to the left side. Oh, not the left side. No. Damn it, no! Oh, stick to the right side after that, body. <laughs> Oh, that's going to take ages to get back now. No music, though. It didn't let me grab the item again. I pressed enter when I went to that cabinet and nothing happened. That's why that happened. It was that last bit that let us down. Because the engine doesn't understand when I try to press enter on something. It's not my fault. It's RPG Maker's fault. Again with this game not cooperating with me properly. I moved up before I moved right. But yet it only allowed me to go up once. I'm being frauded by the engine of this game. I really am. It's not me. It's not my keyboard. It's the engine that this game was put in. What am I going to do aside get more 
energy. That's what it is. Keep going through this process many times now, in different places, but I'm starting to lose my mind and get stuck in the parts which I'm used to just flowing by through. Why did you not turn left? I pressed left on the keyboard and it did not go that way. I'm being ruined by the engine of this game. Constantly. sakes this is so unbelievably annoying being cheated out on the game again I pressed enter to get up on the table yep it didn't for about a second and that's what caused me to die there again and again and again and again I am being frauded by this this engine this game Everything just to stop me from being able to do this. It's so unbelievably annoying. Oh no, not again! By missteps, I've done it again! I swear the cracks change on this bloody floor! Last time it was left! But now they're on the right. That's so stupid that the cracks here change. Why did I do that for again? I've done this once already and now I did it again. I could have done this a day ago. For you guys would have been a few minutes ago. I could have done this again a day ago if the game's controls would not be so buggy. Or the engine's controls. I know to walk over that last crack, but I didn't. This game is taking away my sanity now. Why did I opt to do this challenge? <laughs> Honestly, I'm such an idiot for doing this. But I am doing it anyways, just because it feels like I have some responsibility on my shoulders now to do this challenge and prove to the world once and for all that I'm not such a doomkoff. Again, with the game not working in my favour because the controls are so dumb with the engine not cooperating with the computer, with the game, with everything that keeps screwing me over time and time again. I want to die. I keep making up stupid mistakes on the easy parts of the game. I press left once. Why did it go left twice? I press right. I pressed right. I pressed right. I pressed right. Why did it go up? I pressed right. I pressed right. I pressed right. Why did it not go right? I'm starting to think that this challenge was a stupid idea. Bikes have changed positions again. I've had enough of a moment.
time presses on.
Get out of there. old backtracking. Makes other parts of the game useful as well. Like the room where the snake was in. Stay on the lower tile. slippery snake. It also has a fork inside it. One stuffy and one that was alive. Again. Both. The demon. Demon. That one. 
Doesn't matter if you get it wrong either way. Any of you have three answers, you have some broken chandeliers. Good. We have that sorted. Any other eye colours given there and it would have been diff. Now we can clearly see that the door is unlocked. about poison floor. Everything else is hard but predictable. The poison floor is just unfair. Excellent.
sticks to the poison pool. Second time I've gone this far. Gosh, I need you to actually come up a layer, please. I need you as far away as possible. Quick as possible. And out of this room.
Yo. You never asked me for help, even once. I'm kind of disappointed. Although with the house giving you notes and such to help you along, maybe that figures. You can't always tell who its master is, regardless of what body they're in. Well then, I'm going to leave one step ahead of you, because I think she's on her way here. And it seems the magic of the house has gone back to her. Which means the magic's gonna go poof, right? If I stay here, I might get gobbled up with it. Likewise, Demon. Hmm? Haha. <laughs> no, being incorporeal doesn't necessarily mean we're immortal. Hmm, <laughs> well, that's that. Good luck with the rest, Ellen. My faithful witch. So there's nothing additional really on extra mode in comparison to normal. A dead black cat who was possessed by a demon. That explains the bag earlier which contains a huge amount of... Just simply because of this, I think... This cycle that keeps going through and through, where literally that demon keeps possessing these black cats in the forest of sorts and just keeps doing that, repeating the tale over and over again. And I don't think the sack was there in the normal game, so that explains a cycle, a pattern going on here. Bed I used to sleep in. A foggy reflectionless mirror. Hmm. Lined with books on magic. Magic was difficult but also fun. Lined with books on magic. Being a powerless human hasn't been so bad. A vase of roses. I love roses. A foggy reflectionless mirror. Anything else? Packed tight with my cute outfits. So now we're actually speaking on behalf of Elena's perspective because now the gamer knows that we are and you see Viola smiling or Eileen, Ellen, if you want to call it there's usually not a slight smile on that portrait You can take it how you will folks but I've been through this game long enough and tried to do it without saving but we've gone past the point of the game where the no save rule has been null and void because we have seen what we can do with the black cat. So, unlike my second or third attempt where I try to brave through the game by just simply not saving at this point in time, I've been through it enough and that poison floor has given me enough grief because you've seen all of those other deaths previously in the video and I've had enough. Whether you want to call this a no-save or a, a no-save mostly playthrough, the requirements to get to the no-save part has been met, and I don't know if anybody out there has discovered if there is any sort of hidden secrecies in a playthrough where you don't save at all, even in this room. I wonder what would be in that book otherwise. Greetings, little one. I know. You're in very bad shape. But don't worry. It will last very briefly. I think it's actually easier to go through this without sound. Just because there's no distractions when you're going through the game. This is a bit that stomps me last time. That time it interacted. I'm glad I saved. I am so glad I saved. But it's it's possible. You see, it says there in my room. Glad we saw that little thing right there. Is it just me or is our legless friend just a tad slower? I don't know. You see, it's random there. That. 
it's possible. It's definitely possible. If I've done it in the past, I can do it right now. It's possible. Damn it again. Oh, Christ's sakes. I'm glad I saved. It's just me missing out on the little things in the game. Anything else? Stay downwards. Too close. Excellent. Down. Whew. We've finally done it. Finally done it. Finally done it. I don't know if there's anything additional. Besides the letters, obviously. To just pick up. Cute little bottle, knife, missing first half of the letters. Let's just go through it one more time. Dear Viella, I'm sorry for yelling at you yesterday. There's an old legend that says a witch lives in the forest and kidnaps children who get lost there. Your friend's house is very near the forest, so I was worried about you. Your friend's name was Ellen, right? Well... don't mind if you go out to play, but don't go too deep into the forest. I hope to see you home soon. Dad. You certainly do have a, a wonderful dad, Viola. It's a shame that a little spirit is in the body. But that's how the story of this game goes. It's a very tragic, dark story. And there is no happy ending to it. And to be honest... I quite like that. I quite like a game which doesn't have a happy, a happy ending. Anything else here? So we went into the room, it had the blood over her eyes. Is it now removed here? Oh. Okay, so it's not fully blooded, but the eye sockets are definitely out. Just give it up already. Eek. How long are you going to chase me? You know you're almost dead. Yeah, no more blood. Hmm? Give it back? No way. I don't feel any pain in this body. Besides, you're the one who gave it to me. Why should I have a give it back? Right? Viola? You felt so sorry for me. I couldn't even move from my bed. That's why I used my magic to trade bodies with you. Just for a day? Hehe. <laughs> Maybe I did promise that. I was surprised you managed to trap me in there, but to no avail. After all, it's my house. Why would it ever kill me? Unlike those hundreds of other times that everyone's been through this game beforehand and obviously met an unfaithful demise. And the other tens or so times that I've been through the game and the house decided, you know what, I think it's time for your time to be transpired. The house guided me the entire way to ensure that I would escape. Still not dead? I have to applaud your tenacity. Ah, maybe you're too worried about your father to die? Oh, I know all about you and your father, Viola. A close family of two. Those memories stayed in your body. He's a kind man. You know that body would not last long, Viola. And he even sent you that letter. What a good father. So then, I suppose you're worried about what'll happen when you're gone. It'll be just fine. I'll make sure his daughter Viola gives him her share of love. Now, 
take her share of love too. Or just die? So just, yep. Fiona! Give that man a very, very eerie smile. We are safe. What? Why? Eek. One eye's got a larger hole than the other. That's what the cough medicine was. Or should I say, throat burning medicine. Basically, the entire reason why that body is how it is, is for I think three main processes. Number one, in the beginning, Ellen always had a lifelong illness. It was one of those things that you couldn't do anything about it other than suppress it. Number two, Ellen learned magic, obviously, through desperation, but it was also a miracle, and on her perspective, from the demon cat. But that was far in the future. That's when, um, that's when Ellen already decided that she wanted to ex her mother, her father, and her friends. And number three, about why that body can only crawl, and also why I can't see. Before exchanging bodies, it's either before or just after exchanging bodies, Ellen purposely tore off her legs and removed her own eye sockets so that she can either walk or see. But also, after the swap, this is definitely after swapping by the way, Ellen gave Ellen's body the throat burning medicine so that she can talk. That's why here and now, the father has no understanding that what's going on is that he is killing his own daughter. Doesn't matter how many times I see that, it is one of the most tragic endings I've seen in RPG Maker Horror Games. Hmm. Despair. I'm glad that's done. I'm glad that Endeavour has finally been erased and the challenge can be put to a close now. But my gosh. I just literally started recording this and the entire playthrough that you saw before those little deaths with Elena and that Ellen, sorry, in that playthrough. I managed to get through all of that alright. Because I started recording these on the 6th, and today is the 10th that I'm recording this particular session, and somehow I managed to get through the entire game without dying. I'm, gl I'm so glad I saved at that point, otherwise I would have been doom coughed again. But thank you so much for watching folks, this has been The Witch's House MV, this is a glorious remake, I would say out of Mad Father, Me Sal, Mermaid Swamp, and The Witch's House MV, this is definitely my favourite remake. When I discovered these sort of games originally, it was Me Sal that was the first game that actually made me like the genre. My first actual game was Paranoiac, but I didn't really get into that game that much just because it was just what I would call opening door simulator or finding key simulator 
as we've got. But then again, I don't think it was meant to be a serious game anyways. Anyways, that's enough about that. But put down in the comments below, folks, of what you thought about this game. What mysteries are there within the diary of Ellen do you think should be put into light in a, a game format? Because as much as the community would love to see one, there is no possible way that the Witch's House can have a sequel. It can have a prequel, and therefore Ellen is the protagonist, but if that was the case, it would have to be a visual novel game. Like, from looking at the book itself, and I've read through the entire, so the entire entry of the Diary of Alina, which takes quite a while to read through all of it, it from looking at it, it can only be a visual novel format. And this obviously is a more adventurous format because we're not really being given dialogue, we're just being given an adventure to solve and the story is there in front of us at the very end. Like, all of the story of the Witch's House is crammed into the ending. Unless you play extra mode, obviously, and therefore there's fragments of the story hidden throughout the game and there's also a fourth wall breakage sort of thing where if you play extra mode the game expects you to know a little bit about the backstory behind the game anyways so the diary of ellen is the main prospect of the backstory of the game like what happened to the mother what happened to the father what happened to the friends what happened to why and how things were able to be the way they are in the first place. And also, Extra Mode gives us a bit of light as to what Ellen's parents look like. Because without Extra Mode, we would never have been able to know kind of like the visual uh, features of the parents or how Ellen's hair is purple because Ellen's father's hair is purple. But of course you knew that one parent loved, one parent never wanted to have anything to do with the child. If Ellen never had the disease, then I presume that the father would have noticed. But also, if Ellen didn't have the disease, then we wouldn't have this game, we wouldn't have this story, we wouldn't have this rich deep story that we know and love. And that's why I think that the witch's house regardless of how old it is, will always be a very, very solid game. It has a certain flair to it that you don't really see in other games. Anyways, thank you so much for watching guys. This has been Witch's House MV. Thank you very much to Fimi, the developer of the game, for not only making the Witch's House originally back in 2012, well, that's when it was translated, I'm not sure when it made it. But also thank you to each person for translating once again, along with the help and publication of Dane E and Entertainment for putting it on Steam. But that's all for today, folks, and see you all in the next video. Have a good day and take care of yourselves.